Good afternoon. Today is Friday, October 30th. And I'm here today to bring you up to date on where we stand with regard to our response to the coronavirus pandemic. As many of you know and maybe have heard, as of last uh, night, midnight, Jefferson County issued new guidelines regarding indoor gatherings, indoor events, which affects us here at Spirit of Christ and affects our celebration of the liturgy. So I just want to set the stage for you of how things are going to look for the next several weeks. In fact, this order from the county goes through November 29th, so we're looking at five weeks. And at that point, it will either be amended, rescinded, or extended. So for now, for these next few weeks, this is how things will look here at Spirit of Christ. First of all, Sunday will look different. We are limited to 25 people indoors. Um, we will be able, luckily, here at Spirit of Christ to celebrate Mass. Our normal Mass schedule will be maintained. And we will celebrate from the chapel. The Mass will be live streamed from the chapel. Every Mass will be live streamed, all six on our weekend schedule. And as of now, our goal is to also have the car line with communion at the end of Mass at all six Masses, not just several, but all six. That will, of course, be in place as long as weather permits. We will also be able to put 25 people here in the church, so we will have 50 people allowed at each Mass, 25 in the chapel, 25 in the church. The same protocols will apply with the wearing of masks, with the checking in, all of that. Also, just to let you know, in response to several questions, that number of 25 ministers of the liturgy or of the mass do not apply toward the number. Ministers are musicians, clergy, lectors, Eucharistic ministers, and the people that run the audiovisual. So they don't count against the total number. Our sign up for Sunday will be different for the next five weeks. We will have you sign up and for one of the masses on a weekend. Unfortunately, because of numbers, we will be asking you to limit your family to one attendance here at Spirit of Christ over the next five weeks. And we will be monitoring that to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to get here for mass. Also, that sign up will be coming out to you as it normally does on our flock notes setup. You can also call into the office um, and, and uh, sign up as well. Daily Mass will also be affected uh, in kind of the same way. Daily Mass will also be celebrated with 25 in the chapel and 25 here in the church. The 25 in the chapel um, will, the Mass will actually be celebrated in the chapel, a more intimate setting, and then the 25 in the church will be watching on our screens here in the church. There will also be a sign up for daily mass, we can't just open the doors and let everybody come, so we have to have a sign up as well. You will be allowed to sign up for daily mass which you like, when you'd like to attend, and we ask that you limit yourself to two daily mass signups a week, no more than two. We have some special celebrations as well coming up in the next month, and we'd like to address those as well. The first is All Souls Day. That is celebrated on Monday, November 2nd. It will be celebrated as a daily mass with the 25 in the chapel, 25 here in the church. The tradition has always been to bring candles. Um, we won't be honoring that tradition because we just don't have the wherewithal to do that. But we will maintain our tradition of scrolling and announcing the names of our deceased, those who have died here in the past year and who we've celebrated funerals here at Spirit of Christ. We will maintain that. And that will also go out over the live stream, so you'll be able to see that at home as well. Um, there is a special indulgence offered. As you, many of you may know, um, an indulgence is allowed in the week after All Souls Day to be applied to a deceased loved one. Of course, in the traditional um, format of indulgences, that is maintained. That would mean attending a confession, um, receiving the Eucharist, and uh, praying for the intentions of the Pope. So those are the requirements for any indulgence and also for the All Souls indulgence. But um, the Vatican has actually extended that privilege and that, that um, indulgence to the entire month of November. So it's not limited to the first week after All Souls Day, but is applicable to the entire month of November. That information is in the bulletin for you to look at. Also, um, at the end of November, we will have Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving is usually a big celebration here at Spirit of Christ, a lovely Mass held on that day. We will continue to have the Mass that day, 
It will be held at 9 o'clock here in the church, but again, it will have that restriction on numbers. As always, we are, are thankful to you for your continued stewardship and the many ways in which you support Spirit of Christ. It's been greatly appreciated and very supportive of our staff, of our people that are really trying to help you maneuver and maneuver through this in the best way possible. With regard to your offertory, we'd encourage you to continue to either uh, bring it to Mass if you're able to come to Mass and also to uh, drop it in the mail or to drop it in the office. Our office hours will maintain themselves and our staff, which is sort of on a reduced staff right now, will maintain as well. So the operations on a daily basis in the, in the church and its office will continue. So it will be able to receive your offertory gifts. This weekend, uh, November 1st, 2nd, is of course the seminary appeal held every year. And that will continue and that will go on. Uh, we'd ask that you uh, participate in that to the best of your ability. You should have received an envelope in the mail for your seminary appeal. You can mail that directly to the seminary or to the office here at Spirit of Christ. Or we also have envelopes available here in the church if you'd like to pick those up as well. Once again, none of this is ideal and it's a struggle for all of us to maintain but to keep honoring and uh, our community, to keep us together, to keep us strong, and to remind us always what our, our true goal is. Our true goal is always giving glory to God, and we do that even in the most difficult of times we can do so. And so we'd ask that we just offer that and offer all of our struggles, all of our pains, our heartaches, our, our bittersweet memories that we're having right now, but to really offer those for the glory of God and for our own benefit. Um, our prayers are with you. We especially, our prayers go out to all those who suffer from this virus. We've had a, several people in our community have passed away because of this, and they are remembered very fondly as well. So please uh, maintain the faith, stay safe, stay strong, and continue to pray. That is one of the most powerful weapons and the most powerful uses of our faith is to simply pray, to offer our thoughts, our prayers, and our mind to God for ourselves and for our world and for our community. So thank you very much.